Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. Well, Purchase Night 4 was out uh, yesterday, and of course I managed to pull the uh, the two new IDs and the Ego. So we're looking pretty good on that front. So we're going to do a Mirror Dungeon hard run and try and use all of them a little bit. We're doing a majority sinking team. Figured might as well, since that's about both the Ego and this ID is... Rusha is kind of out of place in a team like this, but I still want to use her a little bit. And I mean, you can still, you can get away with that. Right. So yeah, I believe the new um floor, the, uh, the the Violet Noon floor is on floor three in Hard Mirror Dungeon, I'm pretty sure. So when we get to, once we get to that point, we'll be able to see something new. But until that point, it's just going to be a fairly standard run. But we're just trying out the new ideas, yeah. Full Wish of Stars, of course, you know. It's funny. Oh god. I'll need to fix that, that's fine. Uh, I mean, this just... That looks good enough, cool. But yeah. So far, I haven't really... I didn't do any sort of mirror dungeoning stuff last night. I just got the new IDs, spent a while, like, reading her up time, reading over them, and doing the actual, like, event fights. So I've used them a little bit, but not to an extreme amount yet. But they're both pretty fun. The ego is also pretty fun. A lot of fun stuff. Skullbuster uh, reissues skill 3. Gives her a bunch of status effects if she has the first coin. Because she lost the first coin there. It means that she's actually, like, doing very awful. But that's fine. First coin versus skill 3 is super important. But, you know, that's it's, that's how it goes. Um, and Yisong, you can see his skill. You, you can see his skill 3 there. He's just, he's got the funny guns, right? His ammo shenanigans are a little wacky. It was probably a bad idea for him to have him skill 3 immediately because his skill 3 costs SP, but... You know... Uh, oh well, tsh, Right. Silly me. But yeah, so obviously with Loki on sinking things and maybe a little bit of charge bleed stuff for Yoshu... I don't know. Honestly, even if we just get lowest star, that would be enough to make her, like fit better on the team, right? Make her do some SP damage. A little bit of a scuffed idea, but it'd be funny. Right, do we win these? Just barely, but cool. That also was not looking correct. I'm not fully sure what was going on with that clash, but yeah, sure thing. Okay, this should do some good damage. These guys are blunt weak. Yeah, nice. We'll be able to stack the singing stuff pretty good. I think that's the one notable thing about Solomon Yi Song, is that his skill one is sing count neutral, but his skill two and skill three are both sinking negative, sing count negative. So he kind of needs to be paired with IDs that can maintain sing, which is what the team we're going for here, right? Very much a team that can maintain sinking and inflict a bunch of it. We've got stuff like Rhyme Shank. We've got stuff like Echoes of the Manor. I'm very intentionally not using um, not using Wild Hunt because, well, I feel like he might overshadow like the new units. <laughs> not entirely, but I figure you know he can he'll he can live being on the bench for once. We've already got like one coffin wearing depressed guy on this team. We don't need another, right? Nice. But yeah, in case you're not too familiar with these guys, you know, individual gimmicks, um, Yi Song's got his funny ammo, he's got two types of ammo, it's like SP dependent stuff going on there, um, and he needs it for his skills, he spends it with his skills, he can get it back by like running out of ammo, then he reloads and just loses an SP, right? That sort of thing. He's pretty fun. And then Ryoshu, I haven't really gotten to use Ryoshu too much, I feel. I've used her a bit, of course, but not to, like, a degree where I'm super uh, familiar with her full bit, yeah. But she can grab Penitence and Red Eyes with her skills. Um, building it up enough can turn her skill 3 into serious Skullbuster, which just makes it stupidly strong. I've seen people rolling really high with that skill 3, so it's certainly something. But yeah, and of course the Ego Solemn McGregor, it's like Ruinous Solemn Lament. It has a lot of coins. It's theoretically the highest rolling Ego in the game if you do a lot of shenanigans. <laughs> hey, folks, on theoretically, oh, I should have taken the, uh, could have taken the, the 
bullet one. That's fine. It wouldn't help. It wouldn't help you song very much at all. I figured. Um. But yeah, because um, because Gregor Psalm Lament is an eight coin ego, and Linton Gregor's skill three gives him one coin power next turn. You could theoretically use his skill three twelve times in a single turn, and if you do so, and then use Psalm Lament and manage to get all heads, which is extremely unlikely. You sure would get a theoretical, um, 120 roll. <laughs> good luck, good luck managing that, though. It's, it's uh, very unlikely to actually ever happen, but... Theoretically, you could do it. Good luck both getting 12 heads, or get, getting 12 coin power, getting 12 skill threes, and then getting all heads. Yeah. <laughs> I did get both the announcers as well, both the new announcers. The only announcer I'm still missing is Molar Office, which uh, I'm not too worried by. Yeah, so we're going to have Dawn Office and Hod commentating us for at least a little bit, right? Since they're the new announcers. I feel like that's logical enough. Yeah, Yisong skill 3 does a lot of damage. Especially when you like can actually like build syncing up decently. You can get it in his skill 3 is like a bunch of butterflies. Butterflies, of course, means just you just get some MSP healed whenever you hit an enemy with butterflies, and you also, like, do more sinking damage effectively. Oh yeah, right, that's right. Also need to remember, we do want the Gloom Resonance stuff quite a bit on this team, because, like, all of our... We've got so many Gloom passives. I think Yisong's isn't super important. His passive... His activated passive just means that, uh... He reloads whenever he gets a kill and he gains two haste once per turn, effectively. Which is nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not the most important deal. Uh, let's see, what do, we, what do we go for here? Nothing too appealing. Okay, we can go automated factory, we can just get midwinter nightmare. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> get the fusion gift next floor. But yeah, I haven't seen... I've seen a little bit on some of the new ego gift stuff. So I'm like I'm like vaguely aware of some of them. I don't really look at their effects. I, I mean I'll look at their silhouettes, right? I know there's no fusion gifts, but I do find interesting. Take another skill three, excellent. We'll do we'll take that. Might as well. One more reroll. Since it's free, nothing cool. That's fine. Wasn't really too worried in that shot, but just kind of taking random garbage. Hm. Lobotomy pack, cool. And slash risky encounter, cool. But yeah, I know, I'm excited to get to the next floor, since I don't know very much about it, because I didn't do anything about it last night. I don't know anything, and that's that's funny. I like how we get the Gloom Resonance, and three of our IDs trigger their passives, and we also just get the Rose Spin or Merso support passive. The one that's like, what, one plus one Clash Powered and Ally with like... What is it, like a fastest ally if the enemy has like 10 plus tremor or something? I don't know. Shh. It's that's it. That, the, 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 the Rose Spinner Merso passive uh, isn't going to help us too much, I don't think. He's just there just because he's, he's, he just chills in the background. Yeah, Butterfly is pretty nice because the entire bit is whenever Yi Song uh, inflicts Butterfly, it either is living or departed, so it's either potency or count. Each turn, the count goes down to zero, and the potency turns into the count. So it kind of keeps on flowing. The potency determines, uh... The potency determines, like, SP healed whenever you hit the enemy, and it also, whenever potency turns to count, they also just gain sinking equal to the number. And the count increases the amount of sinking damage taken whenever they get hit. But since the count only ever goes away on turn end, like... It really just works fairly well, right? <laughs> and like, whether or not you have the potency or count is based on whether or not you spend the potency or the count of his ammo. And I'm saying potency count for simplicity, because it's- it's- the, the technical term is the living and the departed. Um, which... A little bit hard to wrap your head around, I'm sure. We killed the both of here, so unfortunately we can't use that serious skull buster, but that's fine. I could have had everyone defend and then we could have used it, but I'm not that worried. Yeah, I feel like Ryoshu's alt skill 3 is a little hard to build up. It's one of those things where I don't think you're going to be able to... 
I mean, if we're running a charge team, it might be different, right? I can get made to order, sure. But, like, I feel like it's... If you're running a charge team, she can probably build it up super fast, right? We should probably go for some charge ego gifts at some point. I guess, um... Lightning Rod had been an option for if we had gone for one of the other floors. I noticed that part, so that could have been nice. But obviously, singing first and foremost. If I don't get to make great mileage, I don't. If I don't get great mileage out of you today, that's. I mean, that'll be fine, right? So I'll just have to do it tomorrow. It'll work out either way, I'd say. So that's good. Do some damage, nice. And we all lost a little bit of sanity from the uh, fan of Bane event thing, but that's fine. This kills, yeah, as expected. Like, using Yi Song in the actual wall purchase event is so funny because his skill 3 instantly kills the Violet Dawns. Like, a single skill 3, like, even if you, like, get a Tails or two, like, you just kill them instantly because they're weak to your attack. And it's just a strong attack, right? So, it's very comedic. It means that if you're trying to do the event without him, you might be in for a rough time. I'm sure there's other ideas that can do well, but, like, god, does he do so insanely good in the event. Nice, cool. I haven't done all the actual missions for the event. Um, I'll do that at some point, right? It's not the biggest rush for me. I got everything from it. I got everything I needed from the event, so I'm not too worried. I got, I got the three stars in the ego. I know a lot of people had unfortunate luck, and that's the nature of wall purchase, right? I actually had pretty bad luck, all things considered, but I was fine because I had enough pulls saved up. You know, each... It, it's kind of like a like a like a cycle though, right? You have a bad wall purchase, you prepare super hard for the next wall purchase. You have a decent wall purchase, you don't prepare nearly hard enough for the next wall purchase. That sort of thing, right? It really is the kind of thing that just works, you know, super well in PM's favor. I like wall purges. It is. I, I do definitely. I still really do not like the whole you need to pull them thing. But I also understand like the fact that you can just shard new ideas and that sort of thing in Limbus is like insanely generous compared to like every other gacha game, right? So every once in a while having an event where you know it's they're they're not as nice. I mean it adds up. You can shard them eventually, but you need to wait a few months, which really would hurt, you know. I don't know if I could. I, I don't know if I could stomach waiting that long for a cool ID. Okay, we're gonna try the funny here, by the way. So solemn lament, a little bit interesting because you can see here it's a three. It's a three target technically, but each of these coins only hits one of the enemies. So it's effectively gonna be an eight coiner that just hits a bunch of random enemies. If that's uh easy enough to understand, right? Listen, like that, cool. And some gloom resins. We get the phantom pain buff, sure. And also, of course, Gregor Solomon inflicts a bunch of butterfly, which is super nice for sinking. Why so Linton Gregor is definitely like the ID that works best with him. Probably should have, like, tried to risky judgment the big guy. It might have been a smarter move. That's fine. We staggered that one. That one might get hit by a fair bit of bullets. And we'll see how lucky we get with some of our rolls here. Did we get all eight? I couldn't tell. Yeah, we did. Cool. But yeah, you can see we just did a bunch of damage there. That's pretty fun. Skullbuster, sure thing. Pop that, yeah. Yeah, we just something like that, cool. Looking good. 
Yeah, I wanted to use that ego. It's a little hard to make use of it sometimes. You kind of want it going all in on one person, which is only doable if it's either A, a part that has three weight, or if there's only a single part remaining, right? So it can be a little hard to manage that, but certain fights you can do really well against. There are a fair bit of bosses that have like a three weight part. Like, I'm imagining like it's super efficient against like Trash King Crab or something, right? On top of it being, you know, weak to the bloom anyways there. Voice travels, yeah. I'm not putting on the shoes. You can't make me. I'll pass the check and then you're, you're a failure, yeah. And now we should just be able to kill you. Cool. Sure. Nice. Oh God, I love the clash win animation for his skill 3 especially. Just because he just shoots the enemy as part of the clash win. Like, it's so cool. Hod's trying to get us to record a video of, of us doing this. Funny story, Hod, you know? I actually, I actually already did before you asked me to record that, so... Hmm. All right, you gift shirt. Blood, sweat, and tears. Okay. Well, we get the floor now. We don't see any of the new you gifts from floor clear rewards. Now it's a little bit worrying because in hard you're like not gonna get the new you gifts too likely because there's not a shop, right? Okay, that's an interesting looking node. Feel free to take a rest here. Sure thing. Thank you, random uh, rest stop man. Whoever you may be. Well, we can get Black Sheet music, you know. So we're looking pretty nice. Unfortunately, we don't have comp- I guess we could try fusing a sinking tier 3. We've got a lot of, like, filler stuff I really do not feel like I can- I need to l live, right? Put to 2, do we get Distant Star? That's fine, because we can just use the other one, yeah. We could do- we could do something like this. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. Fusing away some good Ego Gift, there's Lightning Rod. All right. Do I gamble again? I kind of want to, but I've I'd have to get rid of a bunch of things with me. I know, but that's fine. Uh, lightning rod, not bad. We have some charge. I'm curious to see how it's gonna work for uh, Rodion, or not Rodion, Ryoshu. God. Strange light peeks through the glass in a jar door once in. Beyond the glass is a bizarre skull. Glowing skull bound by thorns to a cross, surrounded by a circular light. Empty eye sockets of the skull gaze straight into us. The avenue's denomination is one sin and hundreds of good deeds. Of course, this is not the same entity that once resided inside the Elcorp. Fathomless deaths lie within the hollow of its eyes, piercing us. Either pray or talk to it. Either get a keywordless or keywordless. I know, I think one of these is penitent and the other one's the penitent's ego weapon, I think it's supposed to be? I don't know, something along those lines. I saw the silhouettes. I'll pray to him. Which earnest sinner will pray? He's saying, yeah, Lewandowski Corp headquarters are a new modifier, so they, they get like a solid plus five. Funny how you don't gain like an additional bonus for having the weapon, but fair enough. Well, cool. he's saying, praise before the skull. To whom they pray, we cannot hear. For what they pray, we cannot hear. I cannot even know if that was a prayer in this place of unholiness. Gaze of judgment cascades from the hollows of the skull's eyes. Makes a threatening noise from time to time, snapping its teeth together, but Yisling remains calm, certain that the skull will not hurt them. Once the pious ritual was over, a solitary scarecrow stood in the place of the great skull, showering in the mysterious light. Hardship. Okay, this one. So this is the one I thought was a Penitent's Eagle Weapon type thing. Interesting. Clash win, heal SP, equal to number of clashes, max 3 of units already at max HP, gain offense level next turn. Cool. And we need to get another vent. Okay. Okay, I see. So there's no actual generic fights on this floor. That makes sense. Containment unit. Yeah. Stare at the webs. Check the generator. Check the generator, but don't take your eyes off the webs. I think we get both of them if we choose this one, it sounds like. We'll examine the generator. You can do this. Yeah, once again, you get the advantage of having a lob warp thing, not because of your connection to red eyes, but that's fine. Small spiders... Filial Love and Misaligned Transistor. Filial Love, okay. I'm playing Bleed or Unique Bleed with base skill effects. I'm playing more Bleed Count. Three times per turn for the whole team. And do more damage for Bleed on the target. Cool. 
This text was a consume charge code or unique charge. Consume more. So 2% more damage for each charge count or unique charge consumed by base attack skills. Max 20%. Okay. You can spend more charge. I don't know. It doesn't sound super useful. Oh, this is a Pegatula. Oh. And I guess it, it, it... No, it isn't. It's just a... It's just not the boss, right? So is it... Is it going to be like... Okay, it's two waves of these guys, though, so not super hard. Let's see if I can immediately kill these guys, too. Oh, we don't have a skill three. Darn. Looking funny. That's fine. These guys should take a decent chunk of damage anyways, I'd say. Do something like that. Cool. They're not super strong. They could potentially be an issue if you let their, like, counter thingy go down to one, because when their counter thingy goes down to one, um... They, uh, they explode, which is, like, a unclashable mass attack. So, as you can imagine, not exactly the nicest thing, but it's also not really that hard to deal with usually. You just gotta kill them fast enough. It really is just, like, a damage check, these guys. I'm pretty sure Violet Noon itself is all the same thing. From what I've heard, there's, like, a unclashable, like, super strong mass attack that, like, gets thrown at you every once in a while. I didn't see it myself. I killed it fast enough. Hopefully, I'll kill it fast enough here. So soon we'll be the, we're going to fight these guys, and then we're going to fight the boss of the floor, which is just going to be the noon, just straight up, probably. That's my guess, at least. <laughs> Salvador announces, cool. Shh. I know it's all of Dawn office, but like Salvador, he's funny. Okay, that's wave one done. Cool. Another wave, just more of them. But yeah, this one's at two. So this is the one we got to go for first because it's going to explode next turn. I don't have any super strong attacks this turn, so I'm just going to hit it with a bunch of random garbage. But that should work well enough. That's struggling. Is there anything that isn't struggling against that? Sure. Oh, uh, we try it. Some of their skills that these things use do actually clash fairly high can be a little bit scary if you don't have, you know, any good skills on your hand at the time, but it's not the biggest deal. At least in my opinion. Nice, cool. Since we don't have compass, we're not doing the best on sinking, per se. I'm not really trying too hard to maintain it against some of these enemies, though. Okay, we killed the one that was going to explode next turn. Now this one's going to explode next turn. It's only blocking, though, so I mean, I'm not that worried. And we do something like this, so we should be good, yeah. Not too big of a deal, but yeah, so it's these guys, and then assumably... We're going to get the, the boss node after this, which is just going to be the noon on its own. I guess, at least. We'll see. If so, it means that this is, like, if I'm right on that, which I might be, might not be, we'll see, I guess. It means this is just going to be a fairly short floor in general. It might be some dawns into a noon, though. Oh, no, we fight more dawns. Okay. Interesting. It's a very interesting floor layout. I really like how this floor is definitely doing something unique. And it's got a fair bit of unique ego gifts that could definitely be beneficial to your run. I'm sure it's got some singing things. I think if we went for, like, the bottom path, they probably would have gotten some singing ego gifts. Because I know it showed that there was some singing ego gifts uh, when I was looking at the silhouettes yesterday. Okay, do that. And I'm pretty sure their weaknesses are done in such a way where most of our attacks hit a weakness, right? Which is convenient. Of course, it's what they do every wall purchase. The actual wall purchase IDs are really good against the wall purchase fight. I mean, I say like they do the very wall purchase. They do that for basically everything in general, right? Every like canto, every mid chapter, every event. Like the new stuff is usually just pretty good for it. It's why they stopped like releasing IDs alongside uh, railways after the first one, because it might seem like that a new ID was just a little bit too good for the railway, which wasn't really what PM wanted, I think. 
Because we got seven uh, Otis alongside Railway 1. And we haven't gotten IDs alongside Railways since then. Which I definitely think is intentional. It might feel like you're tr they're, they're pushing a little too hard for you to use a certain ID if they do that right. Or you might feel inclined to use a certain ID simply because, well, it's new. When it might not be that great for Railway. Yeah. Wave two, we've got one of these. Cool. Which one's the lowest? You? Okay. We'll do that. You're mass attacking. That's fine. We can wait to knowledge it. Excellent. I just something like this. But yeah, goodbye now, Sora, and you should just instantly kill this guy. Maybe not necessarily. It's got a little bit more HP here, but we're also a little bit stronger than we normally would be. So, I mean, I think decent odds. Doesn't have a lot of sinking, though. I guess that's the one thing. Still killed instantly, though. Yeah, 400 damage. It's a little bit of a strong skill. <laughs> it's also just kind of really good in these circumstances. These guys are all weak to gloom, so, like, sinking damage does a little bit more to them. Because they don't have sanity, so sinking is just straight-up damage. That sort of thing, right? The okay, Ryushu can serious skill buster if she gets her skill 3 now, so that's cool. So maybe we can see it in action... No, are you getting it next turn? Also, no, yeah. I feel like I gotta give her more skill threes if we ever want to actually see that in action. Which is a little unfortunate, but that'll be my next priority, right? If we can get her more skill threes, that would be nice. We'll have to see if I can get lucky at all, though. Not particularly betting on it. But that's fine. These guys down. So now is it gonna be the noon boss? Is it like two dawns into a noon? Yes, looks like it. Cool. And yeah, it's got like a little unique icon. That's cool looking. All right, that's an it's an interesting floor. I mean, I guess we'll set these guys up as our backup. I don't think we'll need it. I think you like. I think we go wrong. Okay, so it's not just straight up. Okay, so it's the full fight. I see. It's the full hard mode of the thing here. Fair enough. Well, we can just do a bunch of damage. Should be doing very well. Actually, you should clash with that, yeah. Sure, do that. Probably having someone else hit the one on the bottom is a little overkill, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Cool. Yeah, that didn't do too much. That's fine. Because this should do a fair bit, of course. Instantly kill the enemy, that sort of thing. What you'd expect from Goodbye Now, Asuro, and you. Which, of course, the bit with the skill 3, as I think a lot of people know by now, is the fact it's just... It, it's just Yi Song backwards for its acronym. Which is very silly. Yi Song's a very silly guy in general. Sure, do something like that. Cool. Should be good. Ryoshu will be able to build up. We should probably try and focus on having Ryoshu actually build up her status effects and maybe get a serious Skullbuster off on noon when it comes out, right? That sort of thing. Just have her really focus on getting a bunch of her status effect. And just if she gets her skill 3, which she's getting next turn, just save it. Don't bother using it immediately this time. So that would be dumb. Or something like that. Looks good. Once again, I should really just not bother doubling up the one Yisung's going for. Instead, use those skill ones on like the other ones. But eh. Also, I feel like with Yisung, they were really trying to avoid like another like Philip Sinclair situation where the IDs numbers just weren't quite working immediately. I feel like they overcompensated for some of this stuff, though. I feel like he has too much ammo. Given how frequently he can reload it and how well consequences his reload feels, right? I don't know. That's just my personal thoughts. It's definitely felt very off to me, though, that's for sure. 
Like, I never- I feel like I've never had to pay attention to his ammo whatsoever, which is kind of lame. I get that that's part of the bitch because he needs to reload, but his reload is kind of so, so super easy to do, right? Kind of takes away from it, I'd say. Okay, I don't have any funny attacks this turn, so we're actually just going to need to hit the enemies the old-fashioned way. We don't have any insta-kill skill threes, which is unfortunate because the bottom, the bottom guy is going to be exploding next turn. The good thing, though, is these guys all have, like, two speed usually, so even the bottom guy is exploding, we can just attack it with some strong attacks next turn and it won't get the opportunity to, so that's fine. I'm not too concerned. Won't well, use this time to, you know, stack some sinking, I guess, right? And some of for the living does decently. Probably the worst enemy to be hitting with this, though. Because that's the one that has the longest till they explode. But that's fine. But yeah. Decay, the bottom guy's exploding this turn. We... Try and prevent that. Oh, Bright One's also exploding. Okay. Don't do that, though. This one we can just ignore for this turn, though. So we're just going to focus on doing a bunch of damage here, I want to say. And just hoping we don't see either of them explode, right? That's the plan. See how well that works. If we just stagger them, we're set, right? They've got a lot of sinking, so I don't think it's a big deal whatsoever. Nice. Bottom one dead. We just gotta do some decent damage to the right one, which I think we definitely can do. Yeah, the sinking does plenty. So just the left guy like get left, which is exploding this turn, but we're all targeting one guy, so I don't think it's that big of a deal at all. Cool. All right, looking nice. And now, funny guy shows up. We'll activate the regenerator. We'll have Gregor do it, sure. So we just get some passive healing thanks to the regenerator. I'll take the extra bit of HP healing. We didn't need either, yeah. And we've got the red shield, so this doesn't immediately kill us, which is a funny bit. Okay. Yeah, so there's the body, there's left arm, there's right arm. That's the basic gist, ranch. We're going all out in this guy. Let's see if we can just kill this guy super easily, right? That's the hope. Goodbye now, Asoro and you. Weaken Skullbuster. And this should turn into serious Skullbuster. Yep, you've got enough resources. So that's nice. Get some sinking infliction. You know, we'll have you just counter. Yeah, you just, you just have you counter that, honestly. No, it's not a big Yeah, okay. We'll just do that and we'll do that, right? Rhyme Shank should trigger it so it'll happen at the end because it's on use game two protection. So you want it to go last, ideally. And, like, we're not clashing these two if we do that, but, like, that's no. fine because we're going to do so much damage here, I think. It's not worth going for the arms too much because they are severable, right? You can't do a stupid amount of damage to them. Nice, that's a bunch of butterflies, so that's good to see. But yeah, Serious Skullbuster rolls really high. Just look at that. That's some nice stuff. Unfortunately, this guy's sinking isn't great, but since we've got enough um living butterflies stacked up, we should get some decent SP healing Gregor from this, so he should be able to get a full send. And he also inflicts a bunch more butterflies, which is nice. And we've got some strong attacks going through. Some attacks that'll stack up a good bit of sinking. Yeah. It's just death. Cool. Its attacks do go off, so that's that's fine. Only one of them, actually. Alright, that's fine then. And we really did not need to rhyme shank this, but uh it's funny. It's more sinking, right? So yeah. Not too bad of a fight, I'd say. I would say. And we get compass now, so that's nice to see. We also get something additional, so we can get like painkillers, I guess, sure. Random amigo gift. Elytra, sure. And what floor are we going? Um I don't know. Any of you if we particularly need at this point? I don't really think so even. We just go Sinking Pain, get, like, Thorny Path. I guess, sure. <laughs> Not, like, the best floor by any means, but, I mean, it'll work well enough, I gotta say. 
All right. After a short four-hour break to go to class, we're back. Uh, let's see. What's the plan? A Rodeon skill change? Not bad. Her skill three is really nice, but she's also Rhyme Shanker. Definitely better options for us. That's for sure. Nodeblade, I'd love to get. Ishmael skill change is nice. I really like to get a Ryoshi skill change, though. Gregor, no. We can get Rags, though. I'll take it. It's nice. It's solid, right? I mean, that technically does help Ryoshi, but no. Yisang skill change, it is alright. <laughs> If that's all I'm gonna get, then I mean, I might as well roll with it, right? Yeah, sinking floor, okay. Simple enough, yeah, I gotta reselect my team. I mean, it's simple enough to do, though. Cool. Yeah. No Wrath, uh, no Gluttony is a little bit unfortunate, but it's mostly pretty fine, right? If you're running, like, an actual team... Hmm. It's interesting. Uh, or is it? Oh no, it's just my my screen's freaking out. For some reason, it looks like it's dominate. Okay. And I'm, uh, fair enough. Okay. We can blind possession these guys. It's true. It does cost our, you know, very, you know, limited wrath resources, but that's fine. That's what we're here for, after all. But yeah, the an actual, like, singing team would have wrath resources, right? And by that, I mean if you had Wild Hunt, right? Nice. We're gaming. Okay. Good stuff. And now we get the Blind Obsession. These guys are all weak to Pierce. They're all weak to Pride. Blind Obsession's a little good. Tails is fine. We get our SP healed from this ego either way, so... Not a big deal. It's not like Sunshaw where heads or tails is a huge difference because like on heads you just get brought to max sanity and on tails you well don't. So it's not the biggest deal. We do a lot of damage, yeah. As you'd expect. I still don't think I've like actually looked. Cause you've got Did you start with five of each? I think she did, okay. So whenever she gains charge, does it uh, does it give her charge of both types? Is that what it does? Because it really doesn't specify if it's both or if it's only one or random or something like that. Or... But it seems like it might be both, which actually, you know, pretty good. Effective means she just needs 15 charge to function. Normal charge stuff. No dice, that's fine. Oh, this is good. We'll take it. More sinking funnies, more damage dealt, and less damage taken for when enemies have sinking, which, you know, they're going to have sinking pretty much the entire time, undeniably. So that works out well. Okay. We can go for the sloth res. Or not sloth, god. The gloom res. We can do it like this. I kind of want to go for the Gloomers just for the fun of it, right? We'll do that. Might as well. It's funny. Cool. It's always funny when you see like little butterfly symbols show up above an enemy when they're uh when the living turns into the departed. Cause like sometimes it looks like they've I, I keep on thinking like they get like the fry shoots head for a second. It's just the symbol showing above, which you know not fry shoots. What am I saying? The funeral head for a second, because that's what it looks like, right? Nice. You get the kill. You get the reload from that for free, which is funny. Since we've already leaned a bit so much, I kind of just want to get more skill threes on Yisang. If you can get a boss, like a final boss that's like weak to like pure slot stuff, which isn't super likely. What's weak to pierce and sloth? Like silt current, I think. Probably some random things. Anything that like sun shower would be good with. So I mean, those are favorite of things. I don't know if we can hit both weaknesses. Maybe we could go for like 
If I see like an Ahab floor, I might go for that. Right? Could be funny. I think we could absolutely demolish them. Because the thing is, actually, it'd be nice for to fight a boss that has sanity. Because Butterfly makes it so we can actually do some physical damage with sinking. Just normally, right? Which is pretty good, that's for sure. And... God. One of the funniest fights you can get because of the music, right? Like, why are, you, why, why are you playing this music for the bongies? It's cr it's it's delusional. It's deranged. And, like, even though we're on floor four, like, these guys die so easily. Like, look at this. We're shooting this guy to death. Don't even get the fourth coin. We don't, we're not getting the fourth coin too much right now, it seems. Which is fine. So that goes. Good old Skullbuster. Also a Sandy Lose thingy, but that's fine. That works. Odds, you know, yapping, as she does. Funny to hear Odd again. Fragment of Decay. Actually, it's probably the best of the fragments, simply because you want to spam Rhyme Shank on a sinking team anyway, so it works out. But on the other hand, like, it affects Rhyme Shank and, like... I mean, I guess... I do need to keep in mind, it sure... Sh it should affect Solomat, right? Because it has Butterfly, which should count as sinking. Assumably they updated this one to count as sinking or unique sinking. Yeah. So we can gain some final power. And a little bit of sinking count before attack. Okay. Yeah. And DLS we can see an Ego skill times 2.5% more damage. I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty funny, actually, thinking about it. Kind of hadn't thought about that compare that like combination. I don't really think about the fragments too much in general because they're still really like lamely designed. I don't know. Nice. Doing some. Okay. Okay. That's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure we're uh shooting that guy dead anyways, so it's not the biggest deal. No, we're shooting that guy. Okay. I thought we were shooting the big guy dead. I guess not. That's fine. Big guy, big guys will still die. We've got two more of these big gun attacks, so uh, yeah. We should be set. I do think. I think we're using one of these on like the super weak enemy that's already like in their deathbed, so that part's a little overkill. But that's fine. It's part of the fun. I still don't think I've looked. Does he sign have a unique sanity tab? I know Ryoshu didn't. I checked Ryoshu, but I think I got distracted and forgot to check Yi Song. Does he have any unique sanity stuff? Because it would kind of make sense for Lob Corp stuff to have unique sanity stuff. They do it occasionally. Right. Okay, they're dead. I'll check if I remember to check Yi Song, right? Because he could. It's possible. Okay, we get an event here. Grr, uh, love me the medicine pack. Love bandages, they taste delicious. Rest up, we can get compass to plus plus. Now that's nice. We upgrade rags to plus plus as well, I guess. That's not a bad play. It's like more sinking stuff, from, or more SP for Clash winning and just doing more damage in general. It's pretty nice. Red Order, sure. Still does like nothing, but I'll upgrade it for the fun of it. I probably should have saved. That's Gloppo, okay. We can definitely kill Gloppo here. Let's check your Sandy tab, the one thinking about it. It's normal, okay. Funny, like, if I were to tell you that only one of the identities on this team has a unique Sandy tab... I can I can guess your first guess would definitely not be Butler Otis being the only unit on this team to have a unique sanity tab. Oh no, also the charges randomly between the two. Okay. Good isn't good to know. Kind of forgot to check that until this point. 
Okay, here's the plan. We're going all in on the left eye. If we do solve them, it's going to hit all three unless we uh, do a bit of this. Then it hits those two. Okay, that works. And I'll, I'll clash a little bit. Don't get me wrong. A little bit with our people who aren't super sinking y, right? God, taking a second to actually get this set up how I want to. There we go. We want that, well, that one to be hitting all three, and we want this one to only be hitting those two. Cool. That should be good, and then we can just risky judgment. Dusting for the actual clasher. And we do that cool. Yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of damage here. Uh, just a little bit. Okay, we are losing this clash, that's fine. Is it worth a try? At least she got the three shield. That's, you know, something. <laughs> Solomon time, though. Hopefully it hits mostly the eye, because the eye is the weak part. Hmm? Only got three co Oh, <laughs> that's rude! I was like, wait a second, that's, that was only three coins, and it's because we lost SP because we broke the eye. I didn't even think about that. That is rude. And because when you're less than zero SP, you can no longer keep on shooting the gun. Like, that is, that is devious. Really is. Well, the globe is dead, so, like, it doesn't matter too much, but... That was rude. I should have thought about that, though. I could have. Oh, well. We press on. Headstrong does not matter. We are going to be sinking enemies to death. I'll take it. I'll take it for the fun of it, right? I don't even know if there's anything for us to like, get, get anymore. I'll take Evil Defining. I said it before. This could be really fun. Evil Defining with Headstrong. <laughs> oh, I didn't think that through. Oh, no. If this is a Quadria, we might be in a little bit of trouble. It's part of the fun, though. Let's even get you sung into this skill change. We get anyone good a decent skill change? Fate? Okay. I mean, not really what I was looking for, not, not gonna lie. Really, really not what I was looking for. Um, But, like, who would I be to deny that? We don't need Tomorrow's Fortune at this point. I also actively don't think I want the transistor. This seems bad. Yeah, I'll take Faith. Don't mind if I do. Uh, eh. Technically charge. We get you another skill three. Eh. Kind of too late for that. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. There it is. That's what we all wanted. Or whatever how the quote goes. Okay. Faith is going to be a little bit nice for us, though. That's for sure. Kind of a crazy get. We've got quite a few units that do lose SP. It's not a lot of SP loss on most of them. God, that looked weird. I don't know why. It just felt off. Yeah, because we just want Glopo or Sandy is not great right now. That's the only, you know, thing to uh, be wary about, but uh, that's how it goes. We'll use plus coins, get her Sandy back, that sort of thing, right? So we're pretty fine. Next turn, we'll be doing great on Sandy no matter what goes on here. Nice. Even with Headstrong, you know, the sinking's doing a lot for us, so we're chilling. As his command should we do pretty well. These guys are weak to both Blunt, Lust, and Gloom. So we've got a lot of things that are hitting their weaknesses, which is pretty nice. Yeah, that one dies. The only one that didn't die is the one that we were dodging. And we staggered that one anyway, so we didn't even need to do that. Let's use another one of these, though, for the fun of it. Cool. <laughs> it's also so funny to me how um, Butler Faust support pass always just says conditional SP healing. Instead of actually like, spelling out the condition, it just tells you, oh yeah, conditional SP healing is happening. 
Which, you know, that's all you need to know. Compression Vantage, interesting. And we kind of want to go for this one, yeah. More paths afterwards, and besides, we are on Evil Defining Floor, and I'd really rather not get tomfoolerized by too much Piquad Downing. That being said, we are being tomfoolerized by a lot of Piquadding. That's fine. We'll handle it. That's a favor, huh? That's a little scary. I mean... Oh well, shh. Oh well. I'm not that worried. We're gonna take a lot of damage here, yeah. Yeah. I just expected- I didn't really want to spam too much ego. I'm already sun showering here, I feel like anything more would have been overkill. Tails. I mean, I, that's actually fine because we've got faith, what am I saying? Doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Odd. Doesn't mean we do as much damage, of course, which is a little unfortunate. I'd like to do more damage, but, uh... That's fine. We had a little bit of sinking stuff going on here. If we, were, if we can reduce their sanity, um, we're not necessarily in a better position because some of them are negative coin attacks. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, like, the protect the town kind of a little bit rough. You're hopeless. That's fine. We'll have you force for the flames. Yeah, cool. You'll be fine. We just pop a force for flames. Might as well. I guess, like, Blind Obsession wouldn't be the best, wouldn't be the worst idea for this Ryoshu, because I think Blind Obsession has some charge key and stuff. How, what does it even do? And I'm talking specifically about uh, Ryoshu Blind Obsession. I don't think I've used Ryoshi Blind Obsession in a long time, so... I know it's got some poise stuff, some charge stuff. Yeah, on hit gain 2 charge count, on crit gain 2 charge count. So it can just give you a bunch of charge, potentially? I don't know. Not the best thing. I knew it wasn't great, I knew it was something, but yeah, not, not particularly appealing kill these guys. Or just this guy singular, since it's only one left. Yeah. The change to make SP, like, lost text in red was a fairly... I mean, it's an interesting choice, right? I don't know why they did red and not, like, yellow. Or, I mean, no, god. In blue. Blue. Oh, funny to see this guy. Don't know why it's not just blue, because I feel like that would have been the obvious choice. Red kind of feels a little bit counterproductive. You're like, ah, oh, yes, the red number is the non-physical. It's the non-red damage. The red number is the white damage, and the white number is the red damage, effectively. Like, a little bit backwards. I don't know. It's not the biggest deal. It just stands out a little bit too much, right? Because you see red numbers, and you're like, oh, what is what? What's that about? But it's not really about much at all. Okay. Goodbye now, Asoro and you. Nice. Okay, Ryoshu lost her class. She's really not been doing great for me so far. I really, like... I think it's because I'm not building around her, right? If I did a charge team, she'd probably be doing, like, great, right? Hopefully. I don't know for sure. Maybe that's a little bit too hopeful. Who can say? Okay, yeah, we're killing a little bit. Like, who knows, if we're being especially funny, maybe we just send Yisong in solo against the bot now. Would work on, like, a different floor, maybe, right? But, like, not only does he not have an evade, he's got a guard, um... But it's Ahab, right? Either Ahab, solo that with this guy and you're not in for a fun time, I think, is... I think that's a safe assumption to come to. That's fine. Either way, he's not going to do a lot of damage to Ahab. I definitely do regret taking Headstrong a little bit, because I went for this floor, but I think it'll just be able to see just how useful Butterflies can be, though, right? Because Butterflies gives us a method to actually burst sinking on SP enemies without Deluge. 
which isn't something we have in, you know, great spades before Butterfly. You got this, cool. Nice. She didn't necessarily have this, you know, the odds weren't the best thing ever, but she relatively had it. So that's good enough. Alright, more of these guys. So we just keep on doing the same old, same old, right? Simple enough. We can path this math to that guy. We can pull out the Liger Domain with our, you know, ample gluttony resources. We're just pulling out the egos when need be, right? Don't really want, don't really want to, you know, accidentally kill one of our allies. Although if we do take a lot of physical damage, maybe we could get some mileage out of Ryoshi, right? Since she's got some healing stuff with her skill three. Hmm. It's an idea of questionable, you know, success rates. It's an idea, all right. Okay, Liger Domain. We get our nice paralysis going here. Liger Domain is solid. Okay, the paralysis might have been, you know, not the best move, thinking about it. I was like, yeah, paralysis, and then I immediately forgot, right, paralysis. <laughs> it's how it goes. Keep on getting kills. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. You know, it, it happens. Ryoshu actually wins those. That was a close one. Nice. She's got a decent bit of her status effects. So, you know, it's working. And just you left, alright. Kill. Kill, yeah! I love murder. And... That's a victory. Okay, I think one more node left. Could get an event or something. We haven't seen too many events this floor, so yeah, cool. But yeah, then we move on to the shop. Nebulizer, sure. Not really something that particularly synergizes what we got going for us, so I'm fine not getting it then. Yeah, okay, that's what I, that's what I was trying to get to, I think. That's exactly what I was trying to say. Let's see if we can get a Yisong skill change. We can sell some things at this point, too. We don't need Zippo Lighter. We don't need Homeward. Uh, we don't need Painkillers. We don't need First Aid. We don't need comp we don't need bandages. We don't need curriculum. I mean that's nice for Yoshu, don't get me wrong, but we don't need it. We don't really need any bleed stuff. We don't actually have wound cleric, so we kinda can't make bleed work for Yoshu much at all because she doesn't have any count on her own. I've got a one track mind right now. Okay, let's do the bet a little bit. See if I can get lucky. I've got plenty of Starlight still, and we've got like two or three months left of this Mirror Dungeon, so I'm fine doing some Starlight refreshes. See if I get lucky. It might not let me, though. It might be it might be mean. Last time I tried Starlight refreshing for a skill change, it wasn't letting me. This is rude. Let me just... Let me self end it, yeah, sure. Just so I can see it a little easier. I'm worried I'm gonna miss it or something. There we go. Alright, cool. We're in a good spot. Alright. Uh, we can't afford any of those, yeah. And which one is it? That's that's Gas Arpoon, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Cool. Unfortunately, means we gotta do the funny muting thingy. And also, we're going to... Who do I bench? 
<laughs> Feels a little mean, don't get me wrong. I'll use her tomorrow. I'll try getting some decent mileage out of her tomorrow. And don't worry, you've got the actual compass plane now. Okay, yeah, so now if we take a look at his uh, skills, no skill 1s, 1 skill 2, 5 skill 3s. So we've got a couple of these. Unfortunately, you're, you do resist uh, Sloth. That part's a little unfortunate for us, but that's fine. Let's see, could his Ramshank win these? It should. Cool. I kind of want to have you just hit that. Do you win those? Hmm. Maybe not. Eh. It's fine then. I'll have you hit to figure that. We'll win it sooner or later, I'm sure. And next turn onwards, Yisung's going to have two skill slots each turn. He's just going to be doing a lot, right? Look at that sinking count already. It's pretty nice to start out with, so that's good. And the butterfly is real nice. Immediately, just a big burst of butterflies. I could have solemnment it immediately. There really was no reason not to. Because we've got faith, every time we solemnment, we're still going to be at full SP next turn. So, like, yeah. Might have been a decent choice. Rhyme Shank for more sinking. Because, you know, I don't think we had enough sinking yet. Cool. And I think we just kill you, if I'm not mistaken. I do think we just kill you. Shh. No need to worry about the evades or anything. With like the, the butterfly is going to be doing a lot for us. We can probably get you to max as well. Yep, there we go. Max departed, so that's good. And we've got more of this attack going on. Cool. <laughs> Unfortunate thing is compass only triggers for first phase, so like it's not going to be as easy if, like second and third phases to maintain singing stuff. Some people want what is? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I uh, forgot to loop the music. There we go. So it started playing a ad for chicken. I didn't see what the ad was. Okay. Don't worry about that, though. A little bit of scuffed uh, happens from time to time, right? It's such as the nature of things. I think uh, you've got the Nightmare Hunt, which kind of makes me want to just solemn lament right now. Just pull it out. Like, it's only going to hit you, right? So, like, it's, it's going to be goaded, no matter what. I kind of want to clash with that. Yeah, you usually do, but... You really can't win that clash too well, that's fine then. It shouldn't make too big of a difference. Some good old solemn lament for the living. Almost lost those, cool. You got all your protection-y stuff here, but that's fine. On top of the like, fact you're only taking half damage thanks to the thing, like, sinking is like the only thing doing damage for us here, and of course butterflies means we're doing pretty well in that regard. Unfortunate thing is your sinking count is not great. Did this not inflict the sinking count? It didn't look like it. Okay, it did. It just took a second for that to part to register. You do run out of sinking, but you also get staggered, so that's fine. I can live with that. We kind of want Gregor to be a little bit slower, I think. We kind of want him going, like, last. Because we really need time to build up the sink count before he attacks. I think to maximize the efficiency. We don't quite kill you this turn, but it'll be easy enough to do it next turn, yeah. And we can just use all of our weak attacks, and that should be good. With how much sinking you have, we're gonna be fine with that. Funnily enough, your skill 3 counts as your weaker attack, uh... And I'm also popping the Nightmare Hunt just cause, eh. I'm gonna override it next turn, right? Cause I'm gonna Ego. Yeah. We're doing a bit of damage. Shame we just gotta keep on attacking her for a little bit before we can actually... Okay, the music looped properly that time. No chicken ads. Excellent.
All right, final phase time. This is where we go all out. And all out we will go. We're going to get countered a fair bit. Yisung's probably going to be fast again. Yeah. A little bit scary. He does resist both Pierce and Sloth, though, so he's actually, like, a great tank for your counter. Which is kind of funny. Not really something I feel like I see, like, ever. <laughs> Him being a good tank, right? Then we'll finish you off with Psalm Lament. Cool. That's dominating? Okay. Let's see. Like, that being a favorite is a little bit scary to me, not gonna lie. I think I can rhyme shake it then, though. Yeah, cool. This looks good. Should be able to get some good syncing going here. <laughs> yeah, and Yisung gets countered. How much damage is the counter gonna do to him? That did, like, 10 damage to him. Yisung just absolutely tanked a counter. He's, he's become a tank somehow. Just thanks to, you know, his good resistances. There goes your shield. So that's good. Unfortunately, we didn't get a lot of actual uh, living infliction there. That's fine, though. It's not the biggest deal. We'll live with it. Rhyme shanked as well. More sinking. Fortunately, the other two don't have, like, skill or anything, so they're not doing insane for their sinking infliction shenanigans, but it's something. We should be able to, uh... Yeah, like, we're not gonna run out of sinking from Psalm Lament for once. Thanks to Infliction from this, I think she's at, like, what, like, 9 sinking count or something, so this is gonna do a lot for us. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> she's a little bit, uh, insane. It happens. You want, you, you want to send it back, Gregor? You, you, you feel like giving it a run back and also, you know, two of these in case that's not enough? Don't mind if I do, yeah. Fair thing. And yep, down Ahab goes. A habuta. So true. Well, yeah, uh, good showcase of two of the three will purchase stuff this run, I gotta say. Gregor did a lot of damage thanks to that. Solomon, both Solomon's are really fun, right? Kind of a shame I still haven't been able to do too much with Red Eyes Ryoshu, but also, we were running a team of all seeing IDs and then her, of course, she was gonna stand out. Ah, uh, this part always feels great. And there we go, exactly 1395. Pretty good. Should probably be able to get to 1500 before the end of the season, so. Sounds good to me. Give me my various missions. Cool. 69 boxes. I didn't spend any boxes this week, so yeah. Boxes are looking good. Ego shards. I show my ego shards. Because I did like 250 pulls on the wall purges, I got a lot of ego shards. I'm doing great on those. And all in all, looking pretty good. But yeah, I like these wall purge IDs a lot. I still, like I said before, still not too accustomed to using her. I've used her a couple of times already, but like I haven't really been able to see her shine. Tune in tomorrow for me to, you know, assumably learn how to use her and, you know, use her well, right? on a charge bleed team, that sort of thing. But the Psalm Laments, at least, are a lot of fun. They're pretty good sinking stuff. Butterfly is really cool. I enjoy it a lot. The whole, you know, living and departed from the, uh, like, the potency and count stuff is cool. That's for sure. I like it. But anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!